Hey y'all, Chris P. Tinkers here, thanks for tuning in. What up, I'm Nick. I'm Chris. This is our Thirsty Thursday. Uh, yeah. What are we working on today? Alright, well, uh, this is the long tractor that came with the purchase of my house. Um, and it's been a piece of work since, but it's got a snowblower front uh, thrower attachment, a big deck on it, and um, the steering system. So it's a uh, white outdoor with the 24 horsepower Briggs and Stratton, real similar to your Cub Cadets, YTs. Um, there's some other, but you know, typically the steering's different, motor's all pretty the same. So uh, in here today we're looking to replace we got tie rods uh, that are shot on both sides because I just let them run for so long uh, with the bad steering gear. Um, steering gear, that's it. It just it'll wiggle down around the, uh, the base down there. So when you go forward and back, it just it pigeon toes those wheels, and I did that long enough that it snapped the tie rod. Um, and of course, I already replaced the tie rod for. $12 and uh, snapped another one. So we're getting to the real problem, which is through the steering wheel underneath. And um, in the uh, investigation of the steering gear that we were looking at, uh, I believe it's the steering plates, these little bushings in here, they just wear out um, after time. And you know, they, they're intended to do that. So uh, if there's any wiggle in there, all that moves and shifts so that your wheels pigeon toe. Um, and as we take this apart, we'll be able to kind of see what was happening. Uh, but basically, whenever I would uh, go forward and backward, that was the movement in the wheels, and of course, that much tension. and. You know, fat guy out there on the lawn, it'll break those. So, here we go. <sighs> so, oh. O clamp on here, C clamp. O clamp. What do you call this, bad boy? Oh, this is a hose clamp. Hose clamp, yep. That was holding me. Because that just rattled right off right there. See what happens, it's kind of in the shade, but that uh, wiggles right out of its set point, and you're, you're dead in the water because you got one wheel that's acting on its own, and you got this one that's dragging the steering wheel up there. And yeah. So. Here we go, let's try to fix this pigeon toe. Yeah, this is that steering gear, and there's not really a lot of rock and roll in there, so I don't think it's not rocking as much as that is. All right, so it's this plate, and there's not a ton of videos out there, because once this bolt comes off, there's a bushing right there, and then on the top, is where the the nut is and you gotta slide it straight up and out so either you come up under this cross member that's here and that's crazy all right so you got your cross member here that may have to come out and that's what i'm really worried about because when you take this out all of your plate assembly and everything here comes out. So, yeah, with this thing out, I'm not 100% sure if we can get up and under there. I'm throwing stuff down at you. I tried to give it a good wash down on this thing. There. I forgot to wash underneath it. Yeah, so, you know, you're 916, so I believe we can take these off. Let's go ahead and we'll remove this tie rod as well so that this, is, this wheel's loose. And uh, now we can start tackling these. So, all right. 
So now we got the tie rod end off on the front. You're taking it off on the back. Okay. All right, so those two little plastic things that I was talking about, that's where these um, things go in. And they're just, uh, they're essentially lubricant, I think, around that. What are the conditions of the ones that you just pulled off? I believe I replaced them recently when I did those tie rods and I didn't replace this whole thing. So they're they're fairly new. They don't look like they're in too bad condition either. Alright, so I just don't know if there's another way. I don't think I can even get uh, a wrench up in that. I mean, I could, but that's just ridiculous. Um, uh, I brought down. Try to get a different angle here. It is, too, is it? It's a 9 16 And that's a fit. A tractor of 9 16 Oh, it barely fits. Do you have a short socket? Uh, I think I need the long to be able to. I wonder if we're going to run into the same thing with this too. Oh, there's a good possibility. Yeah, and you know, there's probably some out there laughing because I bet there is an access point from above. But it's right behind that engine plate too. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off before it just falls and slaps me in the face. Be ocular if it did. <laughs> it's not my definition of cool anymore. So, I don't know. I didn't feel like I could get that around there. But, yeah. It's all about the touch and feel game here, huh? I don't think there's any other way but to just lower this. It's one, two, three, four bolts. It comes down. We can leave all of this connected. We don't have to. Honestly, I think that's We need to talk about doing here. These are not nice. I think that plate coming out is going to be the most beneficial thing that we do here. Have you seen any trends? Whatever it is, it's not going to... Oh, I see it up here. Can you get a bite on it? Can you feel me? <laughs> I'm not seeing any threads. Oh yeah, I am. I got you. Come on, bro. <sighs> the bolt to the middle plate is right there. Get 
Oh. You alright? Yeah. Headbutt the tire. <laughs> trying to eat this thing. I'm just trying to get this on here. See if it's a half inch. Oh, it is, baby. That's right above your head. How many you got over there? Two? I got two. Here, I'm trying to do it with one hand over here. Mm -hmm. So while you're doing that, I'm just going to go over what we did here. We removed this bolt, this bolt, this one here, this bolt, and this bolt is next. Oh, yeah. Watch your eyes, ladies. Trying to brace it, but he's got a hold of it. I'm about to break this other yeah, one out. Let's break it. Good there though? I think so. Okay. Coming back under. Just another one to get under here and then pull this out and inspect that. Since it's here and I got a brand new one, we're going to slide the brand new one into place. <sighs> We're that's where your typical play comes in the steering, right? Yeah, that's where the typical play comes in. Now I got access to this, so nine sixteenths me. Oh, nine sixteenths me. Oh, Here, I'm coming up. Five eighths. There's a short nine sixteenths. Take it. So there's the bolt that came out that <laughs> held the first one in place. Bolt. Shouldn't be too much that we have to worry about in this. This just to hold it. Bushing, right? Uh, so we'll give it a pivot point. And then we're gonna take this just a little bit further, and we're gonna take. Oh, I don't know. I, I have a hand I can spin a wrench. Baby. You got that? Yep. Okay. Pull it down? Yep. You got it? Got it. Fantastic. Okay, so that's all we need to do. That's good. Go top side and get our parts prepared. 
You're gonna replace that bolt you're holding yeah. on to though, so. So this one's gonna stay, but this one's got to go. This, and onto this, and to this. And that. That goes in the bushing, that comes out. This is the bolt that goes on the steering. So that's under there like that. This is this piece. That's that. Yeah? Yeah. I think I'd be able to get my hand up in here without dropping this. It only gave an extra inch, but... Alright, so I'm at the hole. <laughs> you know, since we're here, and we're not disgusting pigs, that whole plate just needs to be cleaned up probably lubricated so we're gonna go ahead and knock some dust off here uh, but I'm gonna go oil change rags and we've always got a nice glistening lubrication on them I should probably be cleaning this one it was secure Metal on metal sliding, and the less debris up in there, the better, right? Good work. Sometimes you just kind of apply pressure on that bolt it'll hold in place instead of spinning so that's all I'm doing get that thing started so I can get up and under there so sticking the threads to the yeah the chassis. just pinning it yeah. to the side so I can thread that on real quick now let's tackle it with some real tools <sighs> Flip our ratchet around. We're at our 50% mark. When you turn your ratchet around, start tightening things. <laughs> You're halfway there, bro. Just keep on going. You got it. I don't remember this being super tight before. Still big one, just as much as it was before. Let's get this thing a little sealed down, see what this does for us here. Alright, now the trick here is this still has to move, right? <laughs> so you can't, can't have it too much. tight. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. flipping your wrench again. Then you're not halfway there anymore. Oh, giving us a good old. Missing washer. I 
Just out of curiosity, how would you feel about just lubing up some grease on the inside of that? Right in there? Well, there and like right in here. Yeah, let me do that. Um, so what I want to do is go get that uh, loosing and bearing. Did we bring one down? Or I don't think so. I wonder if it's because that plate needs to be in place. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This whole plate assembly back up into place in order to get. <laughs> That's gonna take an eye out right there. <laughs> so what you're saying is this plate needs to go on the other side of that black housing? Yeah, I think so. In order to get this back up into place. Yeah. Just in case. So let me make sure that's still in place. For the steering. to make sure this wheel is straight for alignment and I am good right there Yep. Okay, so we want this. Uh, 
as even as possible. And where are we gonna? Okay, so from there to there, I feel like that's a good even spot. Let's see if that. Oh, that's that's not gonna be fun. I need you to pick that wheel up and out. Okay. Kind of wish I had a camera down there so I can know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. It's very easy to get the stack. So can you lift this? Right. I'm going to need another hand so the camera's going to have to go. You know what? That bushing came out. I know. That's why I'm trying to get wiggled back into place and I can really get easy up top, actually. What were these? Half inch? Alright, so we got it all buttoned together and uh, we probably missed quite a few spots. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be fun, so whoever's on that job, <laughs> good luck. Alright, so what do we do? I was on the other side of the thing this whole time, so let's go ahead and flip flop and send Chris to the other side so that we're confused. Alright, so we've got the new plate on. This was the only part that we reused currently. This is new. The bolt was reused actually, but that is new. We need to get up in here and grease it. Um, grease this where there's contact, all of that. But these are tight. There is still a little play in here. And that's just kind of, these have that because there's suspension that goes up and down for when the wheels, this, slides up and down when we were lifted you could see it was it would rock um but this bolt or steering up here if, now that i'm moving the wheel from the top side the wiggle in there has reduced to very little so honestly i think what we were looking at was a loose bolt right here um and i believe we potentially found out there needs to be a washer um under that bolt as well so that might come down and then right back up to cinch that thing on um what i did was i took uh vice grips and i pinched it on these two threads here without trying to th thrash them um, that way this bolt can still come off in the future. But once I got that thing held in place, the top nut that I can't touch, um, it, it locked in place and then I can actually uh, tighten this without holding that bolt from the top or the bottom. Uh, it just kind of locks into place from the top. So if... If you don't know what I mean there, it, it, it was kind of tough, but I pinched it from here to tighten this bolt, if that makes sense. Um, so we came in here. Uh, alignment, where we came out, uh, it seemed straight across here. So if you see this plate, these 
these bolts go horizontal straight across the lawnmower and we tried to line that up but our our steering wheel up top wasn't straight so if you're OCD like us we really wanted that straight up there and so we lined that up and we just torqued these bolts um, a little further on the right um, a little less on the left and it helped us keep the alignment straight so we feel pretty good with where we're at on the alignment and all I'll, I'll keep an eye on it but the the biggest problem that I see with these mowers is that from front to back action um, when you drive this thing forward and all we're under this so we can't really emulate too much when you drive it forward the tensions uh, pushing back on that plate but when you back up it changes the tension and it bows those wheels out and it 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 creates a lot of pressure on here so um, every time you back up on this mower I feel like it pigeons the wheels out which develops that wear and tear over time it's it's uh, pretty hard to get these things um, aligned to the point where front and backward motion keeps this wheel straight um and i i don't know if that's just this mower or in general um and yeah that's uh early 2000 mower we're in 2022 and that's still rocking so we, my man oh here i can get mowing again so this was our little thursday night steering alignment Steering plate replacement, steering gear, and our first YouTube here. YouTube video. Well, Nick's garage. Uh, we'll work on this. And then if you found any help in this, leave a comment below. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you want to. It's all up to you. Thanks.